Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kat. So I'd like to show you guys some of the candles that I've collected. And uh, when I say candles, I don't mean like pillar candles, scented candles. Those aren't the kind of candles that I mean. I mean like super artistic candle making. I know that um, scent candles and stuff like that are usually the kind of candles that are in style, but those aren't the kind of candles that I'd like to collect, that I do like collecting. So if that's something that you would like to see, then stay tuned right there because we're going to start showing you some candles like this one, the round candle that's in the palm of my hand. I don't know the purpose of it, but it is a nice candle. I have these in three different sizes, teeny tiny and a bigger one like that. And I have an apple candle. This is probably a pretty easy little bit of talent would be needed to make a candle like that, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't think that I could make a candle, make an apple candle like from that to that. If you think you can, leave me a comment because I don't think that I could do that. The next candle <clears throat> I have is a triangle candle. It's shaped in a triangle and it's scented. I'm not really sure what it's scented like, but it's a triangle candle. The next candle I have is an old fashioned angel candle. It has a A wick on it right there. I'm not sure of the year, but I know that this is an old fashioned angel candle. My grandmothers used to have these. Pretty basic. They're going to get better though. The next candle I have is this skull candle right here. The wick right there. And the cool thing about this candle, you can see the holes in it right there. It comes down and out through the eyes. See if you can see right about there. You can see the hole in it. This apparently bleeds red blood out of the, the skull's eyes so that red blood will like pour down so it's pretty sick i haven't wanted to burn that sorry i had to check my dinner so this should bleed from the eyes i'm not sure how it does it entirely but that's pretty impressive the next one I have is this seal, I think it's called, I think it's a seal, it might be an otter, but I think it's a seal, I think that's what seals look like. Let's see, it has the wick right there, and on the bottom it says San Francisco Candle Company. Handcrafted since 1919. When they're nice like this, you don't really want to burn the damn thing. It's too pretty to burn. The next one I have is this geisha. Like who would want to burn that? I don't I don't think I would want to burn that. It's like a work of art. It's a bust. I would never want to burn that. <clears throat> the 
The next one I have is this Mary. Wix right here. That's what she looks like. The detail on it is just very, very impressive. It's made out of a solid chunk of wax and then painted or dressed fired with, I don't know, and you cannot have a Mary without having a Jesus. Here's the wick. It's like, I wonder if they're made at the same place. I don't know, they don't have uh, no stickers at the bottoms of these ones. So that's my Joseph, Jesus, not Joseph, it's a Jesus. Be nice if I had a Joseph, had have Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. <laughs> and the last one I have is this teddy bear. Can you believe that this is made out of wax? It's not a candle, so it's not meant to be burned, but it is called an aroma bear. It says, do not set wax animals directly on wood surface as the oils will stain. It's not a toy. Keep reach of children. And this is not a candle. It's not meant to be burned. It's scented with like sandalwood or something. But see how well made that is? It looks exactly like a teddy bear. Let me know which candle you liked the best. If you liked the geisha, Mary, the skull, the bleeding skull. I have a couple others, but this is like a, a candle burner. And then I have this triangle candle, with the sun, moon, and stars on it. Actually, well, there is sparkles, so I wonder if that's supposed to be the stars. So there you have it, my candle collection. I have so many more. I'm just showing you a third of what I have. I do like to collect stuff. I just put a mark in my Mary right there happens when you bring everything out to show. So let me know what you thought of all my candles. If you're a candle collector, part of the candle community, let me know all the stuff down there under the teddy bear. <laughs> I'm a poet and don't know it. <laughs> okay, I'm off to eat my dinner. Love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Teddy bear out.